Today we are going to learn how to insert values into table using NetBeans. Okay, so let's go to the video. First of all, let's create a new project. Open the file, new project. Java application, next. Give a name, I'll give a sample. Okay, now let's create a new JFM. Give the name student. I'm just to doing a demonstration by inserting some like uh, trying to register a student. That's it. Put one label on uh, the text field. For the submit button. Now this um, student ID. Student name. And of course, it's because it's study. With the variable name student ID student name the last one course then button submit button. This one will be the button subject. Now let's run this. Now this can. When we enter the student ID, student name, course, then click the submit button. This value should be inserted and saved into our MySQL database. So to do that, let's create a database first. First, PHP admin. Go to database. Create a database called sample. Can create a table. Table name student. Which contains four columns. This fine. Okay. So first one will be ID. Second one student ID. Third one student name, the last one course. So integer, then auto increment. First of all, work up. So, okay, fine. So let's save this. The table has been created with the four column ID, student ID, student name, course. So now we need to add values into this table, to this form. So let's go to source code. Then let's create a function. Before that, we need to add libraries to JDBC. MySQL JDBC driver to add the database. So I already can download this one. MySQL connector Java. Okay. Just click open. So it is done. Once you done this, now let's start the code. So first I'll create a function of class public class db connect then public static 
connection connect connection con is equal to now okay dot java dot my sql sql dot connection now trans dot for name From dot my SQL dot JDBC dot trial. Con is equal to connection driver manager with connection. JDBC MySQL Then where is your uh, MySQL situated? In my case it is local host my PC and the default port number of MySQL 3306 then database name in this case is sample and comma username for connecting the database is root and password in this case is password not required if in new case is required you can type them that's it so the driver manager will see now this one is first create import the function so the library java dot sql dot driver manager So let's do the surround statement with the so surround block with the try catch. Okay. Now let's take this outside the try catch block. And of course, we need to return the connection. Here, return con. Now this is done. Now what we need? What we need to design? When this uh, this is to open, when we click the button. Okay, so double click. This is the button click function. The code. Inside this function will work only the, when we click the button. So, so let's do connection con one is equal to now con one is equal to db connect as we created and connect so we are calling the database connection the statement is tmt is equal to con1 dot create statement if Con option one is equal to null. 
means or otherwise connection is not happening in that case so we need to get the message to connect the now what we need we need to insert the values so we need to make for a string query double column insert Better let's go to here. So now we take this one. Come back and paste it here. So ID it will come automatically. So we will remove this. Now what other things we want to insert? So here. Then we need this one student ID variable. Copy this one. Place the dot get test. So whatever we enter there, we need it here. Get text. Okay. Then we need student name. Copy. So value two will be student name. So from here plus not get test. Sorry, sorry. Get the test plus. Now what does we want we need the third value? Third value is cos That's it. So we don't have uh, what fourth value it is for ID. It will be auto incremented. So plus. Now uh, statement stmt dot execute. First of all, we have to statement on this one, so we will import the Java dot my sorry SQL dot statement. Okay, a statement dot execute. Execute update is required. That's it for now. So let's cut this one and let's paste it here. For this surround block with the track catch. It's like everything fine, so let's run the code.
student right click debug the file let's create the id sd001 put the name joel and post is make sense let's see the submit we click the submit and let's see if anything came here student yeah values here okay that's it if you want you can click here pause this and uh, option So this is dialog this and submit and run again. Stay zero zero one now zero zero two. Let's do the minus physics submit submit and check the database. Okay, see now this uh, student ID SD001 now SD002. Now for the next time, I want this here. Automatically incremented as SD003. How to do this? To do that, let's go back to code and create a function again. Descending limit. We need only one in our select query. So let's see this. Select the query and go to our table. SQL. Let's try here first. It's error. So create student ID. Nerd. So this one. This one is add. Let's copy this and try again. Select student ID from. Select. Student ID from student, oh sorry, student ID from student order, order the ID descending. Then it works. Let's copy. 
Java dot SQL dot requested. Can you see? Result set RS is equal to prepare statement dot execute code. If ours dot next now we need to split our student ID the string and integer that is contain st001 mean st is a string and 001 is integer so we are going to split it string Just give a string in as it dot get string student ID. What is a student ID? And this here to our Let's get the string length of the student ID. So how many digit it's contain? Then now let's get the string. Txt run dot substring. Now we will substring zero two. String number Kudaram Substring two See so, yeah. how many length is content. So we will split the first two. Basically, it will split the text and uh, no int n is equal to integer dot percent number.
n plus plus so we'll increment the number for uh, increment of term at the now a string is now to integer integer dot to string so we'll convert back to string then final text will be text plus s now then where we need it we need it here copy the variable dot set text will be f text that's it and we will call the function while opening the form in HTML itself for the client ID okay now we will put one more button here this is for uh, clear the values button click said here minus to j text field calls dot set text add nothing j text field for cd this should clear everything on it currently hold and also it should call the function now let's try running again Yeah, we are in the call this one. So change few common comma one two. We will go use this one two. Connection two. Okay. Now we will run again. Okay. Ah, sorry, we didn't uh, call the function. So db sorry con two is equal to db connect dot connect. This will happen sometimes. Now we'll see. Yeah, see the third one is D003 scheme. So we'll give the name Deepak. Course anything in the study max. Sub submitted. S3 is this came here. Now next one should be zero for so let's clear this. It's came automatically zero for the there. And now we'll give Babu physics submitter is clear then again. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you. This
if this video is helpful to you please consider subscribing thank you thank you very much see you next video